유진이 키친 Hi, I'm Eugenie. Did you see my photo at Facebook and Instagram? Today, I will do measuring basics. Here are essential measuring tools, spoons, cups, and scales. Here are spoons for both liquid and dry ingredients. They are typically quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, one teaspoon, and one tablespoon. And these measuring cups for dry ingredients they come in quarter cup, a third cup, half cup, three quarters cup, and one cup. And my Pyrex, they are for liquids. One cup is 240 milliliters. And measure dry ingredients with a spoon, scoop, and level it out with a knife running the rim of spoon. Same with the cup. And level it out to remove excess. And as for liquid, with a spoon, pour the liquid in the spoon up to the top rim. And with the measuring cup, pour in the liquid. And to see if it's measured correctly, then down and see the measurement. Don't bring it to high level because it's not level this way. Cups and spoons are for volume and scales measure ingredients by weight. I have three scales, two for kitchen and one for pantry. This is everyday normal scale and this measures to 0.1 gram precision and this is very handy. It converts weights from grams to ounces and vice versa. It's very good for people like me who try recipes from different countries using different units. And there are bowls with measures as well. These are very convenient when you make a large portion of liquidy batters such as pancakes, waffles, and crafts. And finally, I use measuring bar as well. Uh, when choosing right size pans and dishes, etc. Proper measuring is very important for successful cooking and baking. And buying measuring cups and spoons is very good investment. Plus, they are not expensive at all. Today it was cooking basics and tomorrow it's egg rolls. Get my weekly schedule at Instagram, Facebook, and eugeniekitchen.com. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.